Hello everybody, Kokorov here and today I'm going to talk a little bit about the support champions that I've played. Now, I'm not the best player in the world. Um, I'm silver 4 after all. Uh, and I, But I've played a lot of games with um, a few champions, I guess. And today I'm going to talk about my four most used champions to basically play the, well, support role. Um, first I want to start with Brand because I already pulled him up. Now, Brand, um, how do I explain this? Brand used to be the champion that I loved playing but kind of sucks. And now the champion is so good that I don't like playing him anymore, which is kind of stupid. But uh, yeah, the champion is absolutely broken beyond compared to the point where I even won like 10 games in a row. Like, uh, is this it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, th yeah, yeah uh, here it is, 10 games in a row. And the funny thing is just, it, you just do insane amount of damage. You just destroy the enemy, and then the only way you can lose is if you just troll hard, you know, like insanely troll. Because if you hit an enemy with all of your three abilities, you just instantly win. There is like no lose condition with Brand anymore. Now you might say, oh, you, your recent five games you lost. Well, I was trolling, clearly, like... What? I don't even remember playing these games, but I was clearly trolling, you know. Uh, which is the only way you can even lose this game. With Brand. But now, now. Brand is too good of a champion. He's so good that he's not a support main anymore champion. He's like a jungler. Everybody loves playing him in the jungle, in the mid. I've, I've, I've even seen somebody play it in the top, which is confusing. Then again, it was in quick play, and I've seen Blitzcrank top in quick play, so it's not much of a statistical analysis of me to say that. But in general, he's incredible champion that he can be on any lane, except ADC, I guess. But even then, you can do enough damage to ADC. You're basically like a Lux ADC, you know, but uh, yeah, whatever. This champion is absolutely broken, his damage is insane, his ability is... Like, I, I sincerely, before he got the buff, I sincerely wanted a E to be larger and to W to do less damage. Uh, th that would have been like a great buff to him because this way you can basically garner more money. By using your uh, support trinket, you know, like you Q, a minion, and then you E, and basically affects like a huge area in which you basically get money from the attack you did. But yeah, um, uh, they basically increased his damage, and I, I don't want to play against him. I don't want to play as him because he's just too broken. Uh, I don't care about it anymore. Now, my second pick for, like, the best uh, champion I can play as support is definitely Fiddlesticks. Because, um... Fiddlesticks, yeah. It's Fiddlesticks because we can literally run either Leandris, Riftmaker... Like, you can run... Pretty much any combination of runes. I've seen tank fiddlesticks with uh, Jack Show, J Jack Show, and meme runes, and you can even have hex flash and insane bullshit like that. Uh, but yeah, I just do ability meme powers, and then I get rift maker. Um, uh, usually. The best uh, secondary item for Fiddlesticks is, of course, Zonia's. But uh, I don't recommend Hextech Rocket Belt as a support, it's just insane. 
It's either Rift Maker for me or Leandris. Uh, another item for for Fiddlesticks support that is kind of good is the Banshees Veil because when you ult and basically you get hit by a hundred fucking one shot attacks and you basically get killed because you're under leveled in comparison to the mid laner and top laner and jungler so getting a item that basically cancels out an abil enemy ability that can kill you in one shot is kind of cool also zonias protects you it's a amazing item if i remember correctly i used to play shaco uh jungler and uh, the items that i used to get were uh leandris uh banshee's veil zonias and um what else was it absolute ah, cosmic drive cosmic drive because of the ability haste of course and the slight slight improvement of movement speed uh in term in terms of boots like with fiddle sticks sorcerer's boots are the best item but if you want to ult multiple times and sacrifice damage and magic penetration you can actually get the ionian boots which i mean you're gonna do a lot of damage anyway because you're fiddlesticks like uh, there, there was a time where I, I i tried to play fiddlesticks without items and i was just running around with uh, swifty boots and taking all jungle camps and jungle monsters and just killing everybody with no weapons with no items i mean but i was doing it in quick play fair enough and i'm like a bronze player you know silver player so i don't i don't know if i recommend it for everybody but yeah philo uh, favorite character in the game i like him as a support as a jungler and as a top laner uh, as a top laner it's a little bit meme because you have to sacrifice your lane and basically get to level six go down ult everybody get drake and go up and try to defend your area or some shit like that but it's a fun character um it's my favorite champion uh another champion poppy support okay now I'm going to be entirely honest, I've improved on Poppy, but uh, yeah, getting games with her is kind of difficult, not gonna lie. There was a time where I won like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 games, and then <laughs> getting wins with her, it's really fun, but uh, it's just the items that she has are just so uh, polar opposites of each other, like... Which item do you get first? Do you get uh, even shroud in order to help your ADC kill the enemies, or do you get a uh, what do you call it? Uh, the then dead DMP. There you go, the DMP because you get movement speed and you can e uh, enemy champions more easily. Now the problem with Poppy is that I really, really, really you have to like expect your adc to react to you pinning somebody to the wall because if the adc doesn't react you're basically dead and he's gonna blame you for basically pinning the, the champion to the wall now in level twos when you basically get level two and the enemy champion is level one if you can pin an enemy and your adc just shoots him twice or three times the enemy is 100 percent dead and the entire lane is pretty much screwed but the problem is sometimes <laughs> uh, when when I play with an ADC, he sees me going in and he's like, "Nap, fuck this shit." He he just leaves there. Sometimes I'm able to kill the enemy champion and die to the support, or if I'm if the support was low on HP when I pinned him, I guess the ADC kills me. But yeah, it just nobody nobody reacts properly, except veins. Which is kind of understandable, I guess, when because veins have a pin ability too, so they basically know what to do when they see somebody who is pinned to the wall. But yeah, a lot of MFs just griefed my games, which is kind of sad with Poppy. 
MFs and um, generally like people who play I guess Ezreals because they just teleport away from you and leave you to die <laughs> uh, but yeah uh, and finally, I guess uh, Shaco, Shaco support. Uh, now, when I say Shaco support, I mean uh, adaptive power Shaco. Uh, sometimes it's excellent, sometimes it's not that excellent. But the, like, if you're gonna play Shaco support, you're basically gonna roam around and kill everybody, and. Uh, I sincerely don't know which items to get for him because if you go for the Imperial Mandate as a first item, the, the positives is that you get one regeneration so you can place more boxes. But if you go for the Leandris as first item, you get mana, the, you increase size of the mana and basically when you get level you get 20% more mana. So, if you get Leandris first, you do more damage, but you can also need the mana regeneration, so as a second item, Imperial Mandate. Now, the problem with the Imperial Mandate is that um, you basically rely on your ADC to, when you stun an enemy, to activate, when it activates the Imperial Mandate for the, your ADC to attack the enemy champion, which... Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work, because sometimes you place a box in the enemy jungle and there is nobody to hit the enemy and you activated your Imperial Mandate and for nothing, you know. But yeah, you do a lot of damage, it's a fun champ, you double you everywhere. Uh, the only thing about the champion that uh, I see from other people is they don't go AP, they go AD at first. They level up first, maybe Q, maybe E, and they basically try to kill the enemy champion uh, from level 1, level 1 memory. And then basically they wait for level 3 and level 4, and they, then they start leveling up W, but W is basically the last thing that they do. Basically they level up E first for mass damage for the E, and they max out Q so they can go away you know for a bigger distance so they then so they don't get caught but yeah Shaco support now Shaco I like playing him as a jungler because um, I pretty much like his clears you know with the three boxes uh, in the jungle and then you gank whenever you feel like it uh, you basically box out the dragon pit and the herald pit so that the enemy jungler doesn't attack you and fun stuff like that. Oh, Jesus Christ, one second. I forgot I had my shitty window open. But anyway, this is the um, four champions that I like playing. Now, I like playing Sona too, but uh, Sona is kind of a disaster. Now, uh, okay, look at these three games. You might notice something very weird about these three games. Um, I have zero kills, which is kind of bad, I, be I believe, having zero kills and winning. You must have been carried, I guess. But then you see, like, I have, like, one death and you're like, oh, like, I guess he didn't die that much, he didn't feed. And then you see 19 assists and you're like... Well, shit, you assisted the whole game, I guess. Uh, I guess you must have gotten an S plus rank or some shit. Nope, uh, I got an A minus, apparently, because I didn't do enough damage, even though this champion, there is no point in doing damage with this champion, because he's, this is like the perfect healer champion, even more than Milo and Saraka. Because you basically heal everybody from from one percent of their health to basically full health in like thirty seconds, late game, oh twenty seconds late game. But yeah, this champion is absolutely broken. 
but it does it just doesn't do any damage you know if you go for the uh what do you call it for the healing build like I, where's my damage like four 4k damage 4k damage 6k damage you know like everybody else does double my damage or triple my damage or quadruple my damage so this is kind of a champion that um i guess you play not to the way i play it by the way because there are people who play it properly with the what do you call it with the summoner array and basically do damage and you try to to meme around but personally with when you play this champion as a healer and you prioritize all healing weapons uh when you win the game <laughs> you will have like zero damage and you would have healed your allies so much it's insane but when you lose everybody will say well you did jack shit damage man we lose because of you <laughs> which is kind of funny i guess uh other support Let, let's see what other support i might have i played shogat support and i'm gonna be entirely honest he's basically a q champ you just q q q q q q you silence q q q uh stomping 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 you know like Chocat stomps the floor, then you eat the your like enemy champions and stuff. It's a fun champ as a support. I I haven't played Chogat a lot, but he seems like a fun support, even though he's a top laner champ. Uh, Anivia support. It kind of works. It kind of doesn't work. Like. <sighs> I, I like the champion, but uh, Anivia is like a mid laner. There's absolutely no reason to play her as a support. Lux, Lux is broken. Lux is broken beyond compare. This champion just j j maximum damage. Uh, you can blast away from insane distances. Like people, uh, like she's like zero basically, but uh, easier to control. Alistair, I tried Alistair, Jesus, what a fucking mistake this champion, I, I just don't understand Alistair at all, I, I have no idea how to make him work out, uh, Yumi, <laughs> what a champion, I can't, Yumi is just uh, an impenetrable wall to me, Velkos, boring, it just, I, I, I got bored by this champion, I used to ban this champion because I was, oh my god, he's so powerful, but then I played him once and I was like, oh shit, he, all of his abilities suck, you know, like, the shittier version of Zerats and Brand to the point where, like, this champion is kind of worthless unless he snowballs, so I don't even care about him anymore. I also played Senna, yeah, here comes the Senna losses. Uh, I don't know how to play Senna, he's <laughs> Curry, I don't know where to play it. Uh, my bad, I guess. Uh, I tried multiple different stuff with her. I don't know. I uh, Every time I see an enemy play Senna, she destroys me. But every time I play her, I, I can't. <laughs> um, I think this is it. I might have another champion. Uh, that I'm not thinking about. Oh, Seraphine. Seraphine. Seraphine is a better ADC. Then a support jump. Her clear. Her ease, if I remember correctly, clear the mi clear the minion wave insane well, insanely well. Her, her ult is like a bizarro version of Sona's. Uh, Katarina support. I don't. I don't even remember doing this. Oh, it's normal blind. I did, okay, I didn't troll a ranking with Katarina. 
But yeah, this is pretty much it. By the way, I was doing Katarina before the meme tank build. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty much it. If um, if I'm gonna continue playing the game, I'm gonna continue playing it as Fiddlesticks. Brand is boring. I don't wanna play a champion that is just... I press W and me dies. I press our entire team dies. It, it, it bores the shit out of me. I don't care about it. To the point where I, I'm not even playing the champion. Like, I don't know if you noticed, but I played him so little and ranked. Actually, you know something? I'm gonna play Brun today. I'm gonna play him for like an hour. For like two games, I guess. It depends. Okay, FF15. Uh, four games. For four, four games, I'm gonna play Brand and see if uh, they've nerfed him. Hopefully, he's nerfed. Hopefully, I have fun being the underdog and not the overpowered machine of death that Riot has made him to be. But yeah, thank you for watching this shit. Um, Holy, I, I, I wouldn't have uh, watched this much of myself, even if you paid me. Um, so yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Uh,